Hello, this is going to be an updated install walkthrough of my app GSM or Game Sentence Finder. Uh, first, you'll just go over to the uh, GitHub, get the latest setup. Okay, we'll go ahead and run that. As you can see, this is a completely fresh install of GSM. All I have running is Anki with uh, Anki Connect installed and a game that we want to mine. I'm going to go ahead and set up OCR as well since it's become a pretty big selling point of GSM. You can uh, use GSM with Agent or Text Director. I'll go ahead and show what you need. All you really need to do in Agent is turn on WebSocket Server and in Text Director, you need to use this WebSocket file or this WebSocket extension. GSM handles it all for you. Another thing I'll say is this uh, this X just minimizes it. So to quit GSM, you need to go into here or down here. So it installed GSM, it installed OBS and FFmpeg. It looks like we're ready to start setup. I'll just go through some basic OBS install or setup. One thing that is possible now is to increase this from 60. I do need to, I think I can make this uh, increase automatically in a future update, but I recommend something like 300 seconds, which is five minutes of replay time. So if you have, if you, uh, if you've seen a line and three minutes later, you decide to mine a word from it, then you'll still get the audio and screenshot from it. Okay, I'll go ahead and show that all of my settings are default. I'm not going to change anything. The only thing you really need to make sure of is that your fields in Anki match the fields here. So word, expression, picture, picture, sense, and sense audio. Okay, uh, so I'll go ahead and move on to the setup of OCR. It's very simple, it's pretty much just one button. It'll install the one OCR files from Microsoft server. Install any of the dependencies it needs. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to set up a uh, an OBS scene for my game. Here it is. I'll do. I think it game captures better for emulators, so I'll go ahead and do that. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's try window capture. This is a very important setting so you don't get the audio from your desktop. Go ahead and hide this one. All right, so we should be all set up. There, I'll go to the OCR tab and make a new area for our, our game. I kind of know that the dialogue is like in this area, but preferably you'd have the dialogue here so you can check. That all looks fine. Okay. 
Let's try to get some dialogue from it. Daiden, Emma wa Shiritsu Chuo to B1 no Hokseda. Jikini Arsenal Gianga Wogidas. Hayaku Emma o Tasuke dasunda. You'll see that the uh, you'll see that and it sent it to the Exerker page that opens automatically by default. Go ahead and change this. Well, we'll go ahead and buy the card shirt. GSM will see that the card is new and go ahead and get the screenshot and audio for it. Okay, so you can see it's uh, fully automated screenshot and sense audio for our Anki cards. Alright, I'll go ahead and go through a few extra setup things that you might find useful in GSM. Uh, one thing is this external audio editing tool. It'll go ahead and install it for you. This is Ocean Audio, which works very well to edit the audio in Anki in place so you don't have to replace files or anything. It does take a while. It's just because of their server not wanting to be bogged down by bots and whatnot. I might cut this out. Well, it's going, I'll go ahead and explain what this is saying. Uh, Whisper currently runs on CPU by default, but if you do want to run it on GPU, you can install one of these uh, CUDA versions of PyTorch. 12.6 is if you have like a 980 or, or below, and then everything else I would probably recommend 12.8, unless you have a really new GPU, then go with 12.9. All right, I'll go ahead and show what this does. Maybe I can get some dialogue from somebody else. Bump got it. Data. Junsui Suibak. To you know.純水水爆は核融合反応を発生させるのに核爆発を使わない核兵器だ。純水水爆の動作原理には2種類あって、そのうち我が国で研究されているのはレーザー管制圧縮方式という方式。原理的にはレーザー核融合と同じだ。純水
、重水素と三重水素を動く体温に溶かした燃料ペレットに。重水素と三重水素を極低温で固化した燃料ペレットに高出力のレーザーを照射する。Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature.、Uh, helps if you really want super cut audio. In GSM, there's also the ability to mine multiple lines. So let's say I want all of these audio. Into one card explaining this one term. Or not explaining, but with context for this one term. It should handle it fine. It's a lot of audio, so it will take a bit. Bump が言っていた純粋水爆というのは純粋水爆は核融合反応を発生させるのに核爆発を使わない核兵器だ。純水水爆の動作原理完成あいう方式原理重水素と三重水素を極低温で固化した燃料ペレットに高出力のレーザーを照射する純水水爆が言っていた、This、純水水爆というのは純水水爆は核融合反応を発生させるのに核爆発を使わない核兵器だ純水水爆の動作原理 Options in GSM, so I do recommend clicking through here、uh, and seeing if there's any cool workflows that are available. Like this video field is recent, it will put a video in your Anki cards with if you have a special、uh, Anki card template that would support videos. This animated screenshot, I can show this off maybe. It will create an animated screenshot of like 12 FPS of the entire voice line. So it's not just one screenshot, it's a bunch of them. I can probably show that just in Discord, to be honest. This came like today. <laughs> so, GSM. This is like a video and an animated screenshot. This just got released like last night. So, GSM is always,、uh, always progressing and、uh, always getting better and better. If I forget anything, I will maybe edit here. So, I s h o u l d two more things I wanted to show. So, I went ahead and moved over to my. Personal install of GSM. First is this AI tab.、Uh, this allows us to get context aware AI translations into our flashcards and in the text hooker page. For our Anki cards, all you need is to specify a field, and that's where the AI translation will go. And text hooker, there'll be a little button over here that you can do for translations. I moved on to a Visual Nova, I just wanted to show that it also works with Una. If you want to use it, all you need to do is activate this, make sure it's the same port. Okay, I'll go ahead and advance some. I don't really need audio. I'll just advance a few, show the translation in the text hooker. Currently, I support.、Uh, Gemini, Grok, and then down here, anything that、uh, is OpenAI compatible, including like a local instance of LM Studio or anything like that, you can use. So I have,、uh, I have translations for all those lines. That's cool. I'll go ahead and mine one just to show、Atama. the AI translation in the flashcard. No audio or no voice in that, tech, that flashcard, so there's not going to be any audio in the flashcard. Here's the resulting flashcard with the AI translation. Okay, and then another thing is this fairly new overlay that's available in GSM. 
all you need to do is pretty much run overlay, make sure this is on the right monitor. Currently there's a bug where you can't use it for anything but the main monitor, but I plan on fixing that in the future. I went ahead and ran it. So it will look like this. You can hide this by doing like control shift H or you can just move it onto the side. But what this will do on each line that comes into GSM, it will scan the screen for any text and bring up and uh, you have Yomiton lookups for everything on this screen. This is pretty cool. You can configure Yomiton in the overlay. I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out GSM. This project is uh, a lot of work has gone into this project, but uh, I'm pretty proud of how it is at the moment. Uh, good luck in your language journey. Gun bought it. Bye-bye.